Occasionally, it may be necessary to debond and remove adhesives. Acrylics are an extremely durable adhesive system, and removing them can be challenging. The first step is to break the bond. There are some simple tools for doing this, like 3M's side molding removal and emblem removal tool, or dental floss. These tools are used to slice and saw through the adhesive. In some situations, you may be able to attempt peeling the substrates apart. When trying to peel the substrate apart, keep in mind that pressure-sensitive adhesives are rate-sensitive and are much stronger under dynamic loading than in a static state. Due to this property, it is best to peel at a very slow rate. If successful, with the slow peel method, there may be less adhesive residue to clean up. Once the bond has been broken, it's time to remove the adhesive residue on the parts. First, let's look at the dry approaches to removal. One method is to dry rub the adhesive by rolling with your fingers to remove. It can be tedious, but if you can start rolling it off and start a ball of adhesive, the ball can then be used to help remove the adhesive instead of using your thumb. Another method is to use a good grade of masking tape to press onto the adhesive residue and then peel it off and take the adhesive residue off with it. When utilizing this method, you want to put the masking tape over the adhesive residue and press it hard to get good contact. Once in place, allow the masking tape to dwell for about a minute before attempting to remove it. You might also be able to use aluminum foil about five mils thick that has been anodized to peel the adhesive off of the substrate. Apply the anodized aluminum and let it dwell for a while, perhaps an hour or so. Then peel off the aluminum foil. The adhesive should preferentially stick to the anodized aluminum over the other surface. If it does not work the first time, try an overnight dwell before removing the adhesive with the anodized aluminum. The last dry method utilizes 3M stripe off wheel. The stripe off wheel is attached to a mandrel and then used on a drill or other rotary power tool. The tool does a lot of the work, but it can be messy as it may throw material around. If dry approaches do not work, then I would try solvents, but this will be messy. There can be a variety of solvents to try, some that work faster than others. The 3M adhesive remover will work okay, but the solvents that work best are things like MEK. Acetone and isopropanol may work, but tend to flash off too quickly. Apply the solvent to the adhesive and get the adhesive to swell. Then scrape off and repeat. Always read and follow the instructions for all of the materials you use, and most importantly, be sure to use the appropriate personal protective equipment for your personal safety.